Dr. Collins and his leadership of NIH has really had a great impact on how we've structured leadership and research here at the University of Kentucky. Um, and that we have now established um, seven research priority areas of which five are biomedically oriented um, and uh, all receive strong support from the National Institutes of Health towards their research. Um, you know, without his leadership and setting that example for us here at UK, uh, as a public institution, I don't think we would have ever gone in that direction, but that's what we needed to do uh, because of the so many health problems that face people of Kentucky. My kind of cornerstone experience, of course, with Francis is working on the Healing Communities Study. And this is a project that um, was conceptualized by NIH leadership probably in 2017 or so as the opioid crisis was mounting. And the premise behind this was that we know what evidence-based practices should work to save lives, and yet we're in the grips of this incredible opioid overdose crisis. What if we were to do a really large implementation science study where we got whole communities to change their practices on all of the things that create the risk for overdose? And that's how that study was born, and, and Francis was right in the heart of, of those discussions and, and leading those discussions. And we are so fortunate here at the University of Kentucky to be chosen as one of the awardees. I remember attending meetings with Francis Collins where hundreds were assembled. They could be public health professionals, scientists, and families who had been devastated uh, by an opioid scourge. So there he was, uh, listening to all this, and as a leader, first, second, and third, he provided compassion and care. But then he took another step. How could we, as communities across the country, understand what would work in turning around these horrible numbers? And so to see him uh, conceive uh, research programs uh, built on evidence, to methodically, systematically, and through a meritocracy um, make determinations about who should receive um, awards, how they should be kept accountable. When you think of Francis Collins and research, it's, it's purpose and excellence. So Francis Collins was an incredible champion for NIH and for biomedical research, and it really helped push forward the idea of continuing to grow and ensure that we could do the research we needed to do. And that's made a huge difference here because NIH funding really underpins a lot of the biomedical work that we do. It's critical for research, for trials, for all sorts of things that go on in the College of Medicine and, and many other colleges on campus. Um, he also really served as an inspiration for many people here on the campus. I think one of the things I'm most impressed about with Dr. Collins is that he has shown us as a state and as a country that science and faith are not in conflict, but they exist together in perfect harmony. And I think that's a very important message because sometimes people think that if you're a scientist, you can't be for religion, you can't have faith, and I think that he has been a shining example of how you can have both of those in harmony and in agreement. I wish him the best in, in, in what his next phase is. I, I would say that I'm so excited that he is going back to research, which, you know, kind of sets the message for all of us that are in leadership and research that that's our true home and our true passion. He's always led by example, and as always, he's leading by example, because he's going back to his first love, uh, and that is his passion for research. And so I wish him the very best. Um, I'm looking forward to reading his papers in the future. Well, I hope that he is able to enjoy many, many years of relaxation, um, a disconnect from the politics, and a great deal of joy and peace um, with his loved ones because it's very well deserved after all those years of service. I'd like to wish him good luck in all his initiatives. 
We're going to miss him at the helm of NIH, but Godspeed to him. I hope in his research, especially in the area of progeria, which is the uh, ch childhood accelerated aging disease, that he has great success. And hopefully he'll have more time now to spend with his family, his motorcycle, and his music. Congratulations. Thank you for holding firm to really pushing science because science matters. Um, thank you for continuing to be passionate about science. He's not stepping down completely. Apparently he's just going back to his lab because he's excited now about doing new research. On behalf of the University of Kentucky, our deepest gratitude, not only for your service, um, but the model you leave us. Uh, it's a legacy uh, built on principle, character, caring, and putting your fellow uh, human beings first. Thank you.